Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game, Sons of the Forest. We are in Season 1, now Episode 2. <laughs> oh dear, sorry, I've just been watching the squirrel. The animations are quite cool, but kind of funny. Um, yeah, the deers don't like me very much. So, all these containers, now that I've kind of exited the game, come back in again, are now full loot, but... Um, we probably will go through and loot them all. What we've got to do is to get down and get this axe before the end of today. Now, energy bar, MRE collected. Yes, this is the kind of stuff I need. Oh, I got printer resin. Oh, there you go. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Now, normally, I would probably have to go um, and make a storage chest to keep everything in. Because uh, otherwise I'm just going to get too much loot kind of thing, right? But, because we've only just started the game, um, I think I'm going to be right. So the meds are definitely something I need. I think I've got all those containers and bags I need. Now, I need to make my way. Now, Kelvin, I think, is just going to keep maintaining the base here. What's he got left to do? He'll probably get rocks. Um, i tell you what I could do. Uh, no storage-wise. Stick rack. I might be... Well, I'm hoping he'll just stay here. I think I think he will. Um, there's another one. Uh, should we... Should we, should we... I... Th Oh, we can always move it, I suppose. Yeah, let's make another one. We we end up, un unfortunately, needing an awful lot of these sticks. So, uh, probably there. Another two. There you go. He can fix up the rocks and he can do the sticks. So, let him just do that. Now, for us... Um, we haven't encountered any of the guys yet, so we don't have a spear, we just have the axe. So let's see if we can, uh... Now, I thought, I thought there was another camp in this direction. Was there a, a camp up here somewhere? Through the bush here somewhere, I thought there was. Could be wrong, but is this it? This is the river. I think that's a deer that I keep hearing. Oh, up here. Yeah, that's a deer. No oh deer. This is a little camp. Hey, look, there's some rope. Seriously, I need a lot of rope. Oh, there's some cloth. Hmm, looks so appetizing. So, hang on, is this the camp in here? Or am I... Oh, crap, there's something else up there. Maybe this isn't what I was thinking. Hang on a second, I've really got to go in that direction anyway. I was certain there was another camp... Well, maybe this is the one I'm thinking of. Hmm. Alright. Well, we kind of have to, um... Kind of cross here anyway, I think. I don't really particularly want to hang around talking to the locals, if you know what I mean. Uh, where is it? It's that away. Trying to keep focused here and keep on target. It's it's not that far away, really, but it's a little bit of a distance. Um, I just don't want to get stuck. Kind of having to fight these guys. So there's the bigger lake. Still in that direction. Go around the lake? I think so. I mean, there's two things there that I probably should be looking at. One is the little orange icon. 
and there's a blue one there as well. I guess, I guess this is all stuff that um, rabbits, raccoons. So it's kind of over there-ish. Like I don't have the best health armor, all that kind of stuff, but. Holy dearly, the sound of the thunder when it's raining is just like, what the? So what's this blue thing that I'm just about to walk into? Why is there a butterfly on my axe? Okay, it's up here a little bit further. I'm still heading in the right direction, mind you. Straight through a cobweb. Okay, so what is this that I'm about to run into? Oh, look! It's a, um... Should I be picking those up? Berries. Aha! Uh -huh, look! A little, little... A vehicle we could be driving. Well... I know where that is. Chicory. Chicory dickory dock. Picking up a couple of extra sticks along the way is probably not a bad thing. Oh look, I'll definitely take that battery. And that battery, so if we get solar panels at some point, we can um, make use of them. Hey, that's not bad. Alright, so what are we heading towards? Something here in orange. Whoops. Quite sure what I just saw, but am I still heading for the orange thing? I think I am. Holy crap! The noises you hear sometimes. Oh, look! Refuses to acknowledge. Ah, oh, Puffton refuses to acknowledge what the place is. Not even counting what my team has been finding on the other side of the island. Surveyors going missing, our workers turning up dead. If he won't deal with the situation, I will. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Um, anything else I can loot? I take it that's a cave? Hmm, come back to that cave, I'm sure. So, what the crap, it's one of the guys, one of the locals, but you've got no spear on you, so... I don't really care, honestly. So, I think it's going to be across here, and up. Can I just jump up here? There you go. I'm jumping up, and I'm running up. Probably should be picking up more of those, whatever they are, I keep running into... Stuff left, right, and centre. Just a stick. I'm not eating those things, by the way. I'm just collecting them. So am I still heading in the right direction? I am. Trying really hard to stay away from the locals if I can. Now, I'm pretty certain this is the right one. So this should be a little camp with tents, and I think it's got the cooking pot in it. If I remember right. Trying really hard not to come in contact with anything else. See, my water is down a bit. Actually, if this is the camp, then it might have some soda cans here as well, which would be good to collect. Can't be too far away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Hang on. Can I climb up here or not? Oh yeah, I'm going up. I'm not sure if these guys are following me or not. Alright, there's a couple of things I need to do here, I think. <laughs> Flame and rain, I know, I know, you guys. Yeah, I know, you're not happy. You guys are never happy. So I guess in one way, I'm spending most of my time just running away from these guys. Even though they're not 
they're not really a happy mob. So, this up here is what I've been looking for. This little thing. So I take the rope, take some of the goodies, and then cut the rope. And then we've got to go find out what was hanging on to the rope. Yeah, I don't think these guys are too happy with me being around, but... You'd think you'd be able to just open your mouth and collect the water, right? He does, um... Yes, he, he definitely needs water. So I think... Actually, I should be finding more berries. I could probably eat some berries, too. So... This is what was hanging off the rope, this guy. So we should be able to collect all of his stuff. We got a light. Some other bits and pieces. Okay, so that's not bad. So this torch um, might make it number seven. The old axe is. Can I just um like? Turn that off, I don't need to be having that on. Um, now, I've got to... See that red flary thing down there? That's where I've got to go. Uh, somewhere here I should be able to hop down a bit. Right, don't break a leg or anything, Trev. Can't see a thing, Trev. Can't see a thing. So down here, this is where we've got to go without breaking something. Can we get... Yeah, don't trust me going down there. I think we can go down here, maybe? Yeah, there you go. That's not too bad. Alrighty, so this is what we've been really chasing. Not the music. I don't think the music's that good. Turn that off. Uh, pick up everything else. There's the cooking pot. Yay! A solar panel. Yay! Where's the axe? Over here. Yay! Alright. So in here, guys, we're actually going to make this one uh, number one. Ah, what an axe. So we'll pick up everything else that we can. Who is Jack Holt? What is he doing here? Puffton didn't have any friends. Chuck! Good old Chuck! Oh, there's our soda cans. Uh, what is that? Horse tail collected. Pick up as much other gear as we possibly can in here. Duck, uh, there you go. Now, open up these guys. Cool, cool, cool. Done all them. Oh, there's more meds. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't see them the first time around. Some more gear. More printer resin. That's going to come in handy. Okay, we've got everything we needed to from here, I think. Some more flares. Some more C4 we can't make use of. What's that guy doing on the floor? Doesn't look like he survived very well. Alright, so that is absolutely fantastic. So now, up here, we have a cooking pot, which is fantastic. Um, because I'm basically in really high need of a drink, I'm just going to make do with that. Uh, I might eat the meat. See, my strength is at four already. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so now we've got a bigger axe. We're going to end up being able to do a lot better job... Um, use the base back that way. Um, at getting logs. So probably we'll keep working. I think on um, we'll go back to the base. I don't think there's anything else I need to get. Work our way back to the base and uh, might have to make another couple of traps. Get a bit more meat going. That kind of thing. I can hear footsteps everywhere. I'm not quite sure whether that's deer or whether it's one of the guys, but, um... Yeah, I don't really care to hang around and wait. I just want to get back, so... 
I have a feeling it's one of the guys, the, the natives, I believe. This is pretty high up, isn't it? I really do not like this path, because every time I used to come down here, when I first started playing the game, I'd get attacked by natives. Oh, his stamina is absolutely shot at the moment. I want to get across to that side in a sec. Ah, blueberries. I wouldn't say they're mega important, but they're certainly going to help. So, can I scoot across here? I think I can. Yep. So this is back to that cave. I thought there was some something down here. Oh, the graves. Some graves we've got to come back and dig up at a later point, I suppose. It's surprising, actually, how quickly the day goes. The sun's going to go down super fast, and I want to be back at the base before then. This is not really the sort of game you really uh, want to be out during night. <laughs> Especially when you first start and you've got no armour. So go back up here. Collect a few more sticks on the way, I guess. Yeah, I was certain there was another kind of different type of um, cave of some sort. Uh, like a camp type thing. Kinda still heading in the right direction. Good, I can see Kelvin on the map. It's so handy having this mobile phone with the map, I tell ya. Look at these squirrels. Oh, that's not a good sign, seeing those bodies hanging up like that. Oh look, we'll grab this. We won't eat it, just grab it. I don't think you can really do too much. Pick up stuff, yes. Alright, we'll grab this, because this is just down from our camp. Yeah, unfortunately the C4. There's another one of them. Jump, jump, jump. Swim, swim, swim. Okay, so we're back. See what Kelvin has done to the base. Still all in one one piece here. The rocks, oh, he's done a little bit. Gee, you haven't done too much with the sticks there, though, Kelvin. Um, okay, so what we can do... Uh, we might make sh sure the fire's going first. So let's pick up some of that. Alright, make sure that's working. Then over here, we can check for the trap. Okay, we've got another fish, and then in our inventory we'll grab out our pot, and we're going to fill it with water. Yay! Alright, then we should be able to come back up to the base here, and we should be able to there, clean water at the top, that's what we're cooking. Okay, so that can cook away, because so I think it's going to take a little while. Uh, so this is, uh, what is this, day two? Let's see how much better this axe is if it starts cutting properly, that is. Look at that. I was going to say, I thought that was hanging there for a bit. Alrighty. Oh, almost made it. Maybe from this angle. There you go. So, should be able to fill those in. So, we've got a bit more of a roof. Actually, you can put away the phone, Trev. Oh, what are you doing? Come to steal food? I wouldn't be surprised. She's a, she's a big tree, that one.
I'll have to assign Kelvin to getting logs pretty soon too, actually. It might help. I'm not sure if he's doing that well on the other side of things. Uh, actually, we probably need to... I wonder if we can expand the base back this way. Oh yeah, we can just fit it in. There you go. It should still allow that those things to come back. And for us to loot them, I guess. Uh, where's the rest of these logs? Did I drop a tree over this way? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, we'll have to make a large um, log storage area and get Kelvin working on it. He's done a fairly good job on the sticks, I suppose, but I wouldn't say it's brilliant by any means. Uh, okay. Now, I think from memory, if I've got it right, I think the guys start appearing around your base uh, maybe day three. Where the heck is the rest of these logs that I keep dropping? I cut them down and then I can't find them again. This was the other tree that I had. Oh, look at all the trees sitting over here. No, don't drink the water. Just um, just grab the logs and I get out of there. Yeah, that's not the best location to <laughs> be dropping the trees. They just fall in the water. No, that way. And doesn't really matter where that goes. Alrighty, so we're getting to the point where we're almost through another day. Um, let's see if we can drop it this direction. Just don't hit the house. Oh, there's Virginia. She's come to say hello. With her deers. Oh dear. Alright, let's see if we can pick up another couple before it gets too dark and I can't see diddlies. Okay, so one there. Another one there. So she's coming along quite well. What the... What the crap? Um... Oh, they must be just ones that randomly landed on the ground. thought that was a bit weird. Alright, we should have some clean water in here. So we're taking the pot off. Um, we should be able to cook up a fishy here. Oh, maybe it's just the lighting. Don't stand on the fire, Trev, but... Doesn't look very. This is Virginia. Hiding in the corner. Maybe I should have cooked this up in the morning. I don't know about you guys, but I can't see Diddly down there. I can't see whether it's changed or not. Uh. Because I'll. Oh, I really do need to extend the base and put a little stick bed up here. I've got duct tape, so I should be able to do it. Okay, I'm going to risk this and just take the fish, I think. Cooked fish. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh, we've got the torch now, so I should be able to see a little bit better. Saving the game, which is so important. Um, we're going to sleep. Uh-oh. We got some guys around. This may not be good. How many guys are there? There's a bozo down there with a light. I've got no trap set up. I should set up a trap, shouldn't I? And get them to come over here. Problem is they might. Yeah, he's not the most fun guy to have around. Haven't got a trap set up. That's not the best thing. Oh, there he goes, walking around that end. Oh, I am thirsty. Just, just excuse me, guys, while I have a drink, okay? 
I'm going to drink a little bit of water. I take it that I'm kind of part of the way through the night, but... We'll drink... I guess we're going to eat. I'm not sure what time it is, but... Tom, tom, tom. Okay, close that. Does the, um... I'm not sure if I can read that. It looks like 220 or something like that. Alright. This knucklehead. As long as he buzzes off somewhere else, he's gone, eh? Let's try sleeping again, I guess. There you go. New day, new morning. Didn't even have to worry about the guys so much. Oh, jeez. Throw that over there. Um, what is that? Oh, I've got another king oyster. Oh, actually, I should be eating that. Where does it put... Did I pick it up? Well, I thought the oysters were over there somewhere. Hmm... Maybe not. Or did I not pick it up? I thought they were near the meds here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, you can put your light down now, Trev. Don't want to waste the batteries. So, okay, we really need to get a bed that's upstairs and not downstairs, and we need to put down some traps. Um, kind of need a location where we can bring these guys and have them, like, fall into it. Probably more around here somewhere. So, um, traps... It's actually this guy, the fly swatter. They're the ones I like to see them come around. One more stick. Hang on. There you go. We've got no more rope left. Oh no, we've got one more rope left. Um, this would be handy if we could make a couple of these. Uh, which way are we going? Maybe like this? Okay, let's grab a bunch of sticks. You're getting behind the times there a little bit, uh, Kelvin. Oh, it needs a stone. Hang on. One of them. There you go. It's not fantastic, but having a couple of them is pretty handy because you can kind of... kind of lure them over towards the traps and have them get knocked over by them, killed by them. Not the big guys, but the smaller guys, definitely. Um, what the crap? Are you are you okay? You're just sleeping, right? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's probably well earned. Oh crap! Hey you! No head, dude. No head. Actually, I don't have a bonfire. I should have a bonfire, and then I can just throw their butt on the bonfire, shouldn't I? get some bones going. Um, okay. Let's see if we can grab a few more logs. I'm not sure what happens when you kill one of them, whether that signals to the others to come in, or... I don't, I don't know. Really not sure about that. Uh, there, and... Probably start doing there. Maybe focus more going uphill with the cutting of the tree trip, so <laughs> doesn't end up in the water, you know? It's funny, um, funny animation, but it still works. All good. Alright, so there. And... Where did the other one go? Is it up on top? Oh, it is. Well, you can put it right here. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Just put it wherever. And the others will fill in. So that's really good. So, so happy to have the bigger axe and um, the cooking pot. So we're not, not kind of so stressed in terms of food and water. Uh, one thing I was talking about doing and I haven't done yet... 
was going to say, where did all the logs get thrown? Way over here. Jeez. Um, need to make a little animal trap. Or, or even just make a couple of them. So handy for food. Okay, so... One place they seem to be around a lot is around this area, so... We're going to build for ourselves... Uh, go back to one small animal trap. We'll put one just there. How many sticks do we have? We need a lot more. I'm not sure if you're really getting these sticks quick enough. Sorry, Kelvin. You, you're a good man, but... I think it could be done a little bit quicker. Okay, so there's one animal trap. The fish trap's going alright. Could almost do with another one, but it does... This this game certainly has winter in it, and it freezes over, and then you can't get the trap, so... Where else can we put one? Uh, there's animals around here all the time. Maybe we should just make another small animal trap just down here. Uh, which way can we face it? Towards us so we can see. Maybe like that. Another dozen? Whoops. I guess this is why um, it's handy to have him working on sticks. There you go. And while... Oh man. Keep picking up these things by mistake. Might, might actually throw in one more... Um, oops, not that. Build menu, thanks. Um, another one of these fish traps. Uh, maybe about here somewhere. Ooh. 21 sticks. Oh, he, he's he's doing a good job. He's, he's picking up more, which is good. He's probably peeved off with me doing that to him all the time. Though. He's going, I just put them in there. Could tell him just to maintain the base. I've got a feeling when he does do that, he he can sometimes help you to um, build stuff. There you go, little fishy. Come and hide in this trap. Any fish in there? I don't think there is. Not yet. See the animal trap over there. That's still okay. That one's still okay. Alright, see so we can grab a few more tree logs. Yeah, base has got a bit of a structure to it, but it's not um, not great. It certainly isn't that well defended yet, but we do need to go to the beach. We could go to the beach and get some turtle shells and make some water collection units as well. But we've got the cooking pot now, so, you know, it's not absolutely urgent, but it would be handy to have one, I suppose, or have three or six on the roof or something. Alrighty. What the crap are you doing? Um, yeah, maybe we need to go upstairs with this. Because we need to look at somewhere... Well, we could do it out here, I suppose. Um, trying to find somewhere that we can locate a bed. Because that would be handy. And also... Uh, no, he, no, it's alright. I was just thinking he can continue on the... Um, what was that? That was a bit weird. Was that still the animation of the tree logs falling down or something? That was weird. Um, yeah, we need a little area up here now so that we can put a bed. Probably do need at some point to make a decent set of stairs. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know why I'm having problems getting up and down there. Alright, we'll throw some more logs down in that direction. Oh my goodness, this big axe is so good. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I'm not sure if you do this, whether it um, annoys the locals or not, but... Oh no, no, not that way. Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, wasn't quite looking. Anyway. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Alright, that one. And that one. 
Oh yeah, that was a bit close. Uh, can we get that extra log? Yep, there it is. I'm moving stuff all over the place. Okay, now we're right. Uh, yeah, one, one there, and one there. Did it throw logs? Oh, there's two there. One, two. At least we've got a couple of traps down. At least that's something. Uh, where can we put this? Uh, one there, and then we should be able to do that. Then we can put a couple more. One there, one there. That is weird. It's a bit unnerving, because you think someone's just there next to you, but it's actually the animation of the tree coming down. Kind, kind of. Uh, is that going to fill them all in? Yep, cool. Okay. I guess, um... don't know what's safer, actually, having the bed on that side or this side. I don't know. The locals seem to come from any angle, so... Although they can't cross water, which kind of works in your favour when it's, um... Not winter, as such. Oh, there is a gap there. Alright, we'll have to put one there and one there. Looks like we've just got to keep an eye on this fire. You know what I need to do? Get a little bit more firewood action happening, I think. What's that say, Ray? Okay, let's see if we can get some firewood happening. I'm trying to get it before it... Look, will you just stop rolling around? There you go. Give me that couple of pieces of timber. And I'll put them in there for later, I guess. Okay, we need to get a bit more though, I think. Only having four in there is a bit unnerving. Uh, you seen any logs up here, by the way, Kelvin, at all? I thought there would have been more sitting around here, but uh, maybe not. We'll go back the other way, as long as we don't hit something. It's so much better to get him working on the logs, though. One, two... We should have log storage set up and get him working on it. But he seems to be a bit slow just working on the, um... Whoops. Uh, no, we need to... Oh, I suppose we could almost do that. Put that one across first, then do that one. There you go. At least we've got a little bit more ceiling. It's not perfect, but still. It's a work in progress. Okay, pick up these two pieces of logs. Make our way back. Okay, make our way back here. Uh, I wonder, maybe what we should be doing... Where can I get this just to put a couple of logs? Because I seriously need to get some more firewood going. Just give me that red mark. That's all I'm after. If I can pick up the four of these, that would be very handy. A lot better than stumbling around with two. Alrighty, let's put all four of these in here. That's better. Kind of need two of those there, another two there. So, yeah, definitely need another couple of logs. None sitting around here. I dropped that tree before. I don't think the... What the crap? There's a lot of sticks down here. Kelvin didn't drop them, did he? Or is that just because it knocked down a tree or something? I don't know. Seriously think there should be some more logs. Maybe they're further into the forest. I'm looking up a bit to my left there and I can see some logs. Maybe I should go that way. 
I think, seriously, some of the logs actually do go a fair way. They travel a fair way. Is there one right next to me just there? I'm not sure. Okay, so that one... <laughs> it just fell off. Uh, where was it down the bottom here that it was missing? It was somewhere... Whoops. Somewhere. Just down here. There you go. What are all these sticks doing down here? That just looks weird. Um... Okay, am I... Somewhere I was missing one, wasn't I? Just here. There you go. Oh, that just fell down. That's... Oh, no, I need one here, too. Where are you? Pick this up. Go back up here. Don't land on the fire truth. And put it there. There you go. Now I've got an actual ceiling. Um... I'm just wondering... Maybe I should... Where should I put the bed? Maybe I should put it in the corner here, but then that's where I kind of come to this edge to fight, so I don't really want to cover that up. This is probably the edge of the building too, so... Maybe I should put the bed there, because I might extend the base back that way a bit as well. So maybe here for the time being. It's covered. Alright, let's make a bed. Um, under furniture, I think it is, isn't it? Uh, there it is. Just a stick bed. That's fine. Let's just turn it so she's... Oh man, is that straight? I don't know. Just put it there, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's not going to get in the way of the walls or anything, I don't think. One more stick and some duct tape. I'm sure I've got the duct tape on me. Is that Kelvin? Yeah, that is Kelvin up there. Okay. Uh, one more stick. Gee, I tell you what, he's got a fair bit of work to do on that. Uh, over here. There you go. So at least I can save it. There you go. That's feeling a bit better. Oop. I think that's Virginia down there. She takes a quite a while to for you to earn her trust, I think. But anyway. Alright, well that's pretty good, guys. In this episode, at least I got to the point where I've got my axe. Um, I've got the cooking pot. So we're able to feed ourselves, we're able to um, get water. Is there any... Oh yeah, I can see a fish in there. What about the new one? Oh, what? Have I got three fish already? Well, I'm going to cook them up and tell you that much. Oh, there you go, look. Cool. We'll put all three on there, I guess. So yeah, we've done pretty well. Got to the point... See, there's Virginia. She's going to have to come around quite a lot to earn our trust, but she'll get used to us eventually. Um, yeah, no, this is looking pretty good now. I'm pretty pr feeling pretty chuffed about it. I might have to leave the episode fairly soon, but off camera I'm just going to go around and do a little bit more building. Maybe see if we can extend the base. Maybe see if we can get some walls happening. Get some structures in place. Uh, does that look like it's cooked? I think so. They don't take that long to cook, do they? Yeah, there you go. Three cooked fish. Eat that. Gee, I'm almost full already. Might eat another one to make sure I'm up. See, look at that, and the strength is at five. There's actually an advantage, I think, in actually um, going around doing a lot of the logging yourself. Uh, we'll drink that. Actually, you know what? I might just, um, make sure everything's pretty much maxed out. Then I'm going to equip... Oop, don't walk on the fire truth. Equip that. Walk over here. Uh, fill up the pot. And I'm going to cook up another lot of water. See, the advantage is, you can actually, um... Yeah, I'll just concentrate on doing that. There you go. You can go and get more and more pots 
as they reappear in the world and then just come back, fill them with water and then just store them on a storage shelf somewhere. And you have a whole bunch of full ones and then as you drink them have empty ones on another shelf or another part of the shelf or whatever. Yeah, it works really well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave the episode here. I hope you really enjoyed it today. Um, next episode, we'll see how we go off camera, but um, we may end up visiting the beach. It won't be that much longer and these guys are going to start showing up around the base, so I'd like to go and get some more rope if I can and see if we can make some more traps like the two we've got out the front. Anyway, guys, I'll leave the episode here. I hope you really enjoyed it today. If you did, you can help the channel out immensely by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright, everyone. Thanks so much. Cheers.